Hi everyone, I'm Rob from Airfix Music. In this tutorial, let me show you how to configure addictive drum outputs in multi-track mode. Open addictive drum and click here in the mixer on the small arrow. You can see the different output options, pre-fader or post-fader. Simply click and automatically, addictive drum will redirect the outputs to your recording software. Let's move on to the second step, which may be a bit different depending on the software you're using. We have to create our tracks in the mixer to receive the addictive drum signal. I'm going to create 10 new mono tracks and 3 stereo tracks. For the moment, I will put them in auxiliary mode. We can put them in audio mode, but you will have to record the signal as if it were a real recording session. When my tracks are created, I go into Pro Tools to select the input of my new tracks. Then you click Plugin, Addictive Drum, and here, we see all the buses coming from Addictive Drum. Just click on it to define your input. For those who work on Pro Tools, we can use the shortcut Shift, Option, Command, open the menu, click on the first channel, and automatically all paths will follow one after the other. Subsequently, if we push play, everything should be functional. Here, we see the bass drum, snare, hi-hat, overhead, room, parallel compression, and here, the toms. But currently, there are none in action. So if you want to mix your virtual drum directly in the interface of your recording software, just do it and you're done. Thank you for watching this video. If you're a music producer and want to upload your music onto an online library, I invite you to visit airfixmusic.com.